Good morning, Airsofters. Doing a little different video today. This one is about fabricating and prop making. A uh, few Airsofters out there that do LARP soft events that are kind of a fantasy, vice a mil sim, or if you like to go to a party and want to make a really cool gift for someone that is very easy to do and doesn't cost a lot of money, or if it's just a prop if you do cosplay for Western type events. Um, got my two little buddies back here, the Angry Goat Brothers. Um, and I'm gonna show you today what all you need to make one of these prop alcohol bottles. I made these uh, last year for the Wild West 2 at Balhack Airsoft. And I'm gonna make some more to use to sell to the general store or the bar in-game items, they are not drinkable and they will be sealed so they cannot be opened. That way someone doesn't think and it, even on the back of the labels, it does state that do not drink, this is a prop. This one states real alcohol and made by Phoenix Rising Airsoft. That's right folks, Phoenix Rising Airsoft here, Phoenix himself, and I'm gonna get into this. So what you're gonna need is a few items. Um, I'm utilizing some uh, leftover Johnny bootleg bottles. What you want to do is rinse it out. Doesn't have to be totally dry inside. Remove the outer label on both sides. Cut off the little black piece here with a pair of tin snips or put a good glove on and use a sharp knife just to pop it. And you've got your bottle. Um, what I fill them with over here I have three bottles already staged. Um, one, two of them have water. One of them is not so full. One of them is where I want it to be. And then the third one is going to be my uh, whiskey bottle. So go on the internet. You can find labels online. I have a stack of them here. I have already cut some out. I have different labels, different types of uh, pictures on them. Whiskey, gin, moonshine. Um, what's another one that I'm doing? Um, gin. So your moonshine and gin obviously are going to be clear. So just plain water in there. Um, for your whiskey bottle or your... Uh, I'm having a lack of uh, thought at the moment. Um, whiskey or your... Uh, I will get the label here in a second and we'll be moving on. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to be doing whiskeys. Um, last year I had some rum bottles. So this year we're just going to have gin, moonshine, and whiskey. So to make the whiskey, I had this one already done. Last year I used brown food coloring. I put some drops in and shook it up, got the right coloration that I wanted to make it look like whiskey or rum. Um, but I have a, for some odd reason in my cabinet I have a lot of Baker's imitation vanilla so today before getting everything together I said let me see how this looks and by adding this to the bottle of water making sure that I don't spill it on the table and all over the place and just let it float around in there for a minute and the coloration you can always add more, make it darker, or add a little bit more water, make it lighter. And boom, you have the right color, or pretty close to the color, for whiskey. So you're gonna say, capping it off. You can uh, go to any crafting store and pick up corks, take one of your empty bottles with you, so you make sure you get the right size, that they're not too small. Last year, I got a bunch of different assorted corks off of Amazon, and thankfully, I had enough to do the bottles I was doing. So, how am I going to seal them? Well, 
I'm going to use some clear Gorilla Glue. And I'm just going to take, and once we get this going, I'm going to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue around the bottle, the lip of the bottle. And then I'm going to put the cork in. That's going to seal the cork in place. So I'm going to do this real quick. So I have put Gorilla Glue around the inside lip of the bottle. Um, be very careful if you want to wear rubber gloves. That way you don't get the Gorilla Glue on your fingers. And press the cork in place. The Gorilla Glue is going to help seal it. And you may get some runoff into the uh, water itself. But hopefully we don't get too much runoff here. That's why I'm kind of doing this. Um, if you get a much bigger cork like I have here, you can use some acrylics. I didn't realize that these were going to be uh, in the bottle as far as they are. But you could use um, some light and dark acrylics and a paintbrush and just a little bit of paint. Get most of the paint off the brush. Dry brush the cork to make it look older. Uh, do your lights and darks mix. Start with your dark, go to light, mix a little together, and get a blend. Um, it'll make it look good, make it look older. Uh, so now for labeling. Get this stuff out of the way. And hopefully I didn't get Gorilla Glue on myself. So now we're going to come to putting the labels on. Um, you can use some spray-on crafting bond, or you can get some crafting glue in a bottle. If you get in a bottle like Elmer's type crafting glue, um, use a paintbrush or some sort of brush and apply it to the back of the label. I did not clean the outside of these bottles to get the sticky stuff off because I utilize that to help with holding the label in place. So I'm going to spray some adhesive on the front and back label and we'll put them in place and show you what it looks like. So I have used the crafting bond, sprayed the back, applied the front label on, and I have applied the back label on. Um, I will recommend if you're using the uh, crafting bond, definitely wear some rubber gloves or have something that you can clean the excess off your fingers when you're done because in between each spray, it dries very quickly and gets very tacky to your fingers. Um, so an acetone or some sort of um, glue remover so you can get the excess off your fingers. Um, the last thing I do to these bottles, once everything has dried, is I give it, I hold it about 8 to 10 inches away from the bottle, and I give the front and back, the labels, a uh, quick spray um, with clear coat just to seal the labels so the ink doesn't run or if they get a little bit wet, they'll be sealed with a clear coat. Uh, you could probably also use a acrylic clear coat and lightly brush it on, but I find using a can of flat clear coat from your Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot works perfectly fine and it's quick and easy. You can line your bottles up one by one and spray across and get multiple bottles at the same time. So, folks, that is how you make a prop Western alcohol bottle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this content and want to see more things like this, leave a comment, click that like button, share, and subscribe. And for those of you going to be out at the Wild West 3 at Bellhack Airsoft, April 23rd and 24th this month, I look forward to seeing you guys out there. And Phoenix is going to end this video with a good yee